Hi guys, today I'm gonna be talking about a car insurance, it's very important. I just wanna share some details which uh, it makes me, um, it's funny in one way that um, I tried to buy a car insurance online and it came up with an error. And um, what's the strange thing is, as a company, I can't really believe because it's a very big company, Aviva. However, when you try to call them, that, that's no help whatsoever. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call one of the numbers that I have available. And it is online, so I'm going to share it with you. is 0345-307-8590. So I'm just going to try to call. You're going to hear it out. And uh, I'm going to choose some of the options because I need to sort of get into the uh, get in touch with the customers so then I can discuss the policy that I find online. Basically, what I've done is I find through other website this car insurance and Aviva, um, all those who are in UK, they know very well that it's a pretty strong company. So let's just try to call them. Welcome to Aviva. Press 1 for motor, 2 for home, 3 for travel, 4 for motorbike, or for anything else, press 5. So I'm going to press 1 for the motors because that's the one I want. Thanks. To get you to the right team, I've got 4 options for you. To talk to us about a claim, press 1. If you're calling about your renewal, it's 2. Customer services is 3. Or to get a new quote, it's 4. So I'm not going to try new code because I'm not with them already. So it means I had another company. Sorry, I didn't recognize your selection. Right, so I'm going to if have to... If you your policy directly I'm going to have to press Aviva, 3. Either via aviva.co.uk or through our contact centre, press 1. If you brought your policy online through a price comparison website, press 2. If you have a quote me happy policy, it's 3. And for general accident policies, press 4. So none of the options really suits me, but I'm going to press a 3 anyway, because the one that it suits me more Sorry. more than the other. There you go. Quite me happy policies are self-serve, online-only policies and have no telephone support. For help with these policies, please log into my account or visit www.quotemehappy.com and click Need Help where you can find extensive information available. That's www.quotemehappy.com Should you need anything else, please redial and select the appropriate option. As you, as you can see, guys, the reason I'm, I'm sort of creating this video is that uh, basically I, as a customer, I'm trying to buy a car insurance online and they're just losing me this way because there's no help whatsoever. One, because the website is done for whatever reason and I tried uh, actually up to three times and it comes up with the same error. So it won't let me. And if, if you, um, I mean, I mean, I could go, I could go through, there's no problem. This is what I've done. Basically give me a price um, of 433.82. So I'm just going to click, I've got an account with them, with Aviva, and uh, I quite like this price to be honest with you, so I'm willing to sort of pay entirely. And um, this is where it's going to go to the second page, so all I have to do is, I'm going to have to pause just to put this information for now. So I put in the information and basically give me the price, here it is, so Aviva sort of recognized this price online through other uh, websites. So I'm, I'm going all the way down because I've chosen all the um, other information I needed. So I'm just registering my uh, car insurance for my car at the moment. Uh, I have chosen the option as well. So I'm just going to skip with this because he remembers since I've done last time. So he remembers very well. So this is the option I have, two of three. Um, I'm going to go to the review, register and the payment. So I've been registering with this website and I'm just following the steps anyway. Okay, so now continue. I felt this information, that's the reason. So I go my details here and, and I'm not gonna explore it for now, but I'm just saying if I press this uh, layer out of, it's gonna show my details, uh, my car details as well, and then the cover which I have from the Aviva. Uh, so I'm just gonna click on continue. I'm going to another page. And uh, this is my email, 
so I'm just logging to the account right now and it logs in just fine however this is the error that comes up I mean um, how dumb that it has to be basically to uh, to lose so much money because many people they may try this and may have the same problem so okay having that problem sometimes it can happen in a website this is normal you know we human beings sometimes a server can be down or whatever reason but they have to check this out anyway however you ring them then afterwards then what i've done is i'm just gonna go to aviva a car insurance and i'm gonna go to the contact phone number so if you look at the website is aviva.co.uk so you can't really miss it and this is their phone number and i call them that's the reason i gave you because it's online anyway so i can't really hide anything here and uh, i rung the same phone number 03453078590 and again the help that i'm getting from them is basically worthless it's nothing you can't get help so i mean uh, all i'm uh, the reason basically that i have created the video is more just to maybe um uh, give them so they can watch this video i'm saying and once they watch the video, they have to make those changes. I mean, how stupid has to be as a company, you're talking about a big company making this type of mistakes. Now, I because I'm not getting a help online and I can't purchase that, and because I'm not getting help uh, when, you, when you contact them by phone, so now I'm just gonna have to ignore and I'm jumping into another company. And it's not just me, but if, let's say, um, they have probably millions of customers and if they lose people like this then what is the point you know it's it's stupid in one way it just makes me laugh as a company to be honest with you it's a big company like aviva to lose customers and i'm right now i'm having to go somewhere else i'm gonna have to choose another company so uh, just want to share with you because to me it looks really really strange that's one you try online and it failed and then you try by phone and it still failed because they they um it's so stupid i mean they should give you a proper option when you click and it clearly states an option one that for motors you know click one you click on option one and then the other option they give you is got nothing to do with you purchasing it says if you have purchased i haven't purchased anything i'm actually willing to purchase now so where is the option for me to purchase? And it says, okay, option three was for ca to contact customers. And that's fine, you know, you can contact customers, you may explain to them, and then someone is willing to help you. However, when you press option three for customers, few other information online it gives you about other websites, and in the end, bang, it just closes down. You know, it, it, oh my god i i think this is so stupid uh i'm i'm really sorry i'm more kind of not frustrated with them but it just makes me feel as a business you're talking about a massive business this kind of mistake to happen ah uh, it's not uh you know it's unexplainable really from my side so uh, again the reason for this video is i really hope aviva will watch this video and they will make these changes they will watch this video they will make these changes if they if they don't then you know fair enough what can i say let them do it what they want however they're going to lose a lot of customers this way thanks again for watching and the reason for the video it was just to share those information with you and you know let me know what you think about it because to me uh god uh, to me is so strange I'm no, I'm not into any business myself. And again, if I had to make a business, this will be, um, you have to check all information, all details, basically, uh, to make sure you are winning the customers, not losing the customers by just saying, you know, we're giving a junk um, information and then just go out there, do what you want. You know, it's like, we don't want you. We want to put it, we want, um, we want to put a website out there for you to buy from us. However, um, we don't want you in some ways as well. You know, both sides are poor, really, really. This is so poor. Thanks.